Okay, the next effect in our overview would be noise effects. Now, when you're dealing with photography, noise is normally considered a problem. And so when I add noise, it kind of makes it look like it was a bad picture in poor light. But sometimes that's the effect you're looking for. So adding noise to this picture makes it look like it was taken with a poor picture. Now, if I do a median noise, that has a very interesting blurring, smoothing effect. It's almost like a combination of some of those other effects. And each of the effects just has its own result when you apply it to its maximum percents. And the next noise effect is called reducing noise. So if your picture actually has noise in it, it rather than adding it, you can kind of reduce it and uh, it's sort of a smoothing, almost a blurring effect, but sometimes that's exactly what you need in order to fix the picture. Next one is a photo effect. You can apply a glow on a photo effect. It gives it a totally different look. Adjust the brightness, even make it look a little darker depending on whether you adjust the contrast high or low. And then there's the red eye removal. Now for the red eye removal, I'm actually going to need to go to a picture of these lovely ladies who happen to be related to me. And the trick with the red eye in paint.net is to zoom in on the eyes and make a selection. So I'm going to zoom in on this. Now to get both eyes, hold the control button down so you can have two separate selections. And then go to effects, photo, red eye removal. And what we're looking for is you can actually adjust it till you can see that you're satisfied with it. Adjust the tolerance and then how much you want to saturate it. That's uh, probably about right. Click OK. And you can see now when I turn off the selections the eyes are human looking again rather than a demonic although that fits sometimes with this little child. Next if we move back to the sharpen effect just kind of changes the sharpness of the picture sometimes it's not that dramatic looking you can see minor changes. A soften portrait effect has an interesting effect. It can look darker, can look lighter, but it tends to kind of have a sentimental feel to it. You can adjust the warmth of it, how much yellow is in it, the coldness of it by kind of how much blue is in it. Definitely, definitely can have that sort of uh, softening, warming, old school effect.